Do I sound good? Oh, you sound great. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wonderful. All can right. you hear Colin? I can hear. All right, Johnny, can you hear me? Or Colin, you Johnny. can hear me? Johnny. I can, yes. yes. All right. Me to play for so, better. Colin, better. I'm going to need you to take several bit pieces out of the bins and get them ready to work with. Okay. I have already said, well, I guess I shouldn't talk. <laughs> All right. First off, I'm going to need you to find uh, six pieces that are, um, they have a triangular wedge okay. with a what one color? by one nubbin attached to it. There are separated by color. And these yeah. pieces are all blue. Blue, gotcha. So it's a one by one nubbin attached to a triangular wedge. And there's three of them? Six. Six of them. These are small pieces. Yes. I have two of them so far. Colin looks, I'm going to give a birthday shout out to Ariel, who's turning 16 today. Woo, woo. Happy birthday. She is determined to get a tattoo, and because Norway has no legal lower age limit for tattoos, she will get it one way or the other. <laughs> Interesting flavor text. Yes. <laughs> give um, hell, Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> so for those people in the crew who have tattoos, how young were you when you got your first one? Uh, uh, I got mine, uh, I got my first one at couple weeks after my 18th birthday. Okay. I wanted to, but yeah, no, I could never get anybody to take me or go with. So I can't remember exactly, maybe 19 or 20? Okay. Because I finally just told my friend, like, let me know next time you're going. And so they just arranged to take me <laughs> to get my first tattoo. I don't have tattoos. Johnny? I, I don't have any either. I'm not against them. I just uh, haven't, couldn't think of a single thing that I think okay. could I'd want on my body now that I'd want on my body in the future. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Cameron? I have long wanted a integration symbol on my right arm going from shoulder to elbow. Oh, wow. Mm. It'd Damn. be about $800, I've been told. Wow. Oh, but okay. I want to get, like, my right arm just, like, you know, decently sculpted. Maybe nice. a little little cut, <laughs> you know? I realized that the majority of the Loading Ready Run crew is pretty... Pretty like tattoo averse. Yeah. Mm. Well, just like they're pretty straight edged guys and girls. Uh, but like Cam, you've got ear like piercings, right? Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah, yeah. You've got the bar going through your ear, right? <laughs> like, I oh. I can't think of anyone else on the organizing crew that does. Ash. Or, or, yes, yeah. Ash has piercings. Ben does. I can't think of any of the guys other than Ben. Yeah. And, and Cam. I realize it's like I don't think of the there, fact that I there are others. I'm I'm reasonably certain there are others. Well, Graham uh, definitely doesn't. Yeah. Paul definitely doesn't. Yeah. James definitely doesn't. I definitely I, know of one member of the organizing one one of the men on the organizing committee does have tattoos, but he doesn't like to discuss them. Yeah. So we're not we would definitely not do that. But definitely yeah, we do yeah. not invite speculation no. from chat. Yeah. yeah. No. But um, yeah, it is certainly a. Uh, but How like, young is too young? Well, I mean, if they're 16 and they want a tattoo, uh, you know, let them make that mistake or a uh, great investment in their own life, I guess. I think Colin's yeah. found all his pieces. I have, yes. Okay, awesome. uh, Colin, I'm going to need you to find, um, should we discuss vocabulary here? Uh, two, um, like, uh, 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 if I want pieces that have like very little depth, to them, I'm going to call them flat pieces. Okay. Right, if they're just like chips. Yeah. You know? Okay. So we're looking for two right angle triangle shaped pieces okay. where uh, the the two right angle sides are three pips long. Is that clear to you? Um, possibly no. Okay. These pieces are shaped like right angle triangles. Okay. So it will have a 90 degree angle okay. as one of its angles. And they are three by three in size, like three nubbins in size. Like three by three, like square or? Uh, yeah, the, 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 the pieces that are at right angles to each other or the, the dimensions that are at right angles to each other yes. are three pips long. They're 
it's an what uh it's like a t-shape though well it, it would be this would be the l shape of okay. the right angle triangle but there's only two nubs three three nubs okay that and blue. does it and it's blue it's blue there are two of these Also put some stuff that we still kind of put together. Yeah. Over there. Okay. Okay. It's it's kind of like a raised ed edge thing, and there's like it's, it's it's like a it's not I wouldn't say this is flat though because I'm trying like I'm I'm guessing because somebody had already started putting those other pieces onto this one thing here. But it's got four pips on it. Yeah, I would I would work off of like we're starting over. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's take all this off. <laughs> Get rid of that. Let's see. So we've got L or no. no, no. Yeah, L shape. The three pips. Thing, so it's easier for you to see what's going on. I wanted to say these, but that's, that's not three. There are a lot of these other ones, aren't there? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. It's not flat on top, right? Flat on top? No. Okay. Chad is getting so frustrated. I've never watched the chat while this is going on. They're like, I'm dying. Oh, yeah. Because they think they know what Cam means. Yeah. Oh, is it this? Well, how many, ask him how many pips it has on it in total. How many, how many pips are there on it in total? Six. Six. That's this. Okay. Yes. Okay. You found two of them. Yes. Okay, then we're going to need uh, two more pieces. These ones are mirror images of each other. Okay. They look like the pips on the top of them are uh, are shaped like an L. Okay. A capital L, and they're three three pips tall and two <laughs> wide. Uh, and they are kind of like a. It's difficult to describe their shape. Really, they're a. Uh, uh, like a hill or a mound. Ah. Okay. Um, so like, there's only two pips visible. There, there are five, or no, sorry, four pips on the top of this. Okay. Arranged in a capital L formation that goes three by one. And uh, you know the L-shaped Tetris blocks? Yes. You know how there's two different kinds? They're uh -huh. mirror images of each other? Yes. Same deal. Okay. I think they're right under your left hand. You don't help. <laughs> Are these the same things? No. No, no, no. no. <sighs> so this, this, I'm feeling like it's this. They look like the, uh, the closest thing I can come up with right off the top of my head is yeah. uh, like the uh, shell of a beetle. Half of a beetle's shell. Okay, goes yes. over its wings. Definitely this. Okay. So <laughs> once you found both of them. <laughs> yes, I found both of them. Okay. We're going to make two mirror image um, uh, sub-assemblies here. Got it. Each one will have three of the one-by-one one wedge-shaped pieces. Okay. One of the triangular pieces. Okay. And one of the be beetle shells. Got it. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the three triangular wedge pieces mm -hmm. and attach them to the uh, three high uh, L shape on the beetle shell okay. so that they're arranged in a row. Got it. With the, uh, the, the one nubbin tab extending over the edge. You got it. Okay. 
So on the top of the beetle shell, there should be one visible pip, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Then you're going to take that beetle shell and you're going to attach it to the triangle such that the, um, the bottom of the L mm -hmm. is flush with one of the bottom of the triangle sides. Since it's symmetrical, it doesn't matter. Okay. And then again, there should be one pip visible extending off the, um, the side of the beetle shell. I'm going to wish Andrew a happy birthday as well. Happy 29th, Andrew. Let's go with that. That looks about right. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And if you are submitting this or that, I am accepting them and putting them into the pile so Graham can look at them later. Alrighty. And Let's... if you have a this or that he doesn't do, email him at, email to him later. <laughs> but make sure you have the links to the this or that. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's yeah, yeah. very yeah, important. It's just like, wouldn't it be great if you did a this or that about... <laughs> Norwegian rock bands and and uh, food allergies. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, yeah, that sounds interesting and all, but give me a list, give yeah. me some answers, give Half me some links and stuff. <laughs> so what are we doing next, Cam? Okay, you're going to uh, once you've assembled that, I want you to do the same thing with the other half of the beetle shell, and it should make a mirror image uh, subassembly yes. of the first one. I've got that. You've done it both? Yes. Okay, so you should be able to push them together so that the uh, the wedge-shaped one-by-one one pieces meet up. Okay. To form a two-by-three, like, flat place. Right, they should form a, a plateau, kind of, if you were to push them together, kind of. So that, like, if the half halves of the beetle wings, if you imagine there was an imaginary beetle mm -hmm. there. I don't know if that's helpful or not. Um, but that's this is just our error checking step. Yes. Okay. Yes. And so, I am certainly doing that. <laughs> okay. What we're going to need to do is probably look for a sub assembly that somebody else has made earlier. That is a um, a ball and socket. Yes. Kind of thing. And it's got like a it's all blue except for like these two little yellow bits. That looks correct, or that sounds correct. Okay. So there should be a ball at one end and a socket at the other. Yes. Okay. What I want you to do is attach those, um, or, or uh, slide the beetle wings okay. over top of the two by four piece that uh, makes the back of that, right? Okay. That runs along the long axis of that ball and socket piece. Mm -hmm. There should be a two by four piece, two by four brick on the yes. back of it. Okay. So what you want it to do is, um, our beetle wing subassembly should have like a, a uh, flat side and an angled side or a sloping side. Yes. Okay. The sloping side should go towards the ball. Got it. And uh, since our um, plateau, like our bridge, is two by three and the piece we're assembling it on is two by four, mm -hmm. I want you to leave two empty pips nearest the ball. Okay. And the three pips nearest the socket should be the ones that are covered. Yeah, is it? Yeah, it gives you a multiple And our, our beetle wing subassembly should just come down cleanly over top of this. Yes. I am trying to make that a thing. This this might be another error checking step because yeah. I'm trying to make sure that those uh, triangular like pieces fit in here proper. Mm. Again, a reminder to chat: no spoilers if you know what this is. Chat knows what this is. Chat nobody the, nobody the, knows what this no is. Way, there's no, no way possible anybody, way anyone yeah, yeah, could have identified impossible. anything yeah. in, in this. Yeah. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. This, this kit is a cipher. Yep. <laughs> it will only come together in the final step. I think even then it's going to take some working out. Yeah, yeah, probably. Let me know whenever you're feeling confident moving forward, Colin. Um... <laughs> You know what? I think 
I'm going to just kind of... Oh, no, that's okay. Wait, maybe I have this backwards. Okay, I think I got this backwards. Okay. Just take your time. Feel nope, it out. No, maybe that... No, okay, no. <laughs> do you need any clarifications? Um, where do the, the triangle piece fit onto the... Um, the beetle shell. Um, they should be... Okay. The beetle shell uh, center line... Yes. Uh, ...should be separated by these... Uh, by, by the uh, one nubbin extensions off the wedges. Yes. Okay. So if you were to take, like, the... the if you were to imagine um, ribs, kind of. Okay. Between the beetle shells, the, the little wedge-like pieces would be those ribs. Right? They, they'll be what meets in the middle if you put them together. Okay. Um, gotcha. I think. Got that feeling. Yeah, I've... Uh, other words I could use to describe this would be like a crest or a shield mm -hmm. or a scale. You know what? I think that is the way that it's supposed to go. That's the best way that it fits. Okay. All right. Once you've got it. Once you have our beetle wings onto the other subassembly, the previous subassembly, yes, I want you to find a two by three, uh, like chip piece, a flat piece, okay, and use that to uh, uh, put it on top of the the, the triangular pieces, okay, so it like sandwiches on top and kind of secures them in place. And is that the gray piece? It should be blue. Okay, so I will find the blue one then. Oh, it was on top of this other piece. Okay. That's going on top of these other pieces here. Yeah, because it, it, these are like six individual Lego pieces that this is fitting onto, so they're kind of like wobbly. You know, they might move around a bit, so this is just to secure them in place, give it a bit more structural integrity. That, that would make sense. All right. Are you comfortable moving forward? Sure. That's, that's one page, Beach. Great. How many pages do we want to get through? It's 5 a.m. James, do you want to set up that next uh, giveaway right now, or do you want to move on with more pages of this? Uh, we should probably start that giveaway. Okay. All right. Let's start um, the giveaway. Do you want to continue on after we're, we're set the giveaway up? Yeah, that sounds about good. good. That so sounds about good. Let's start this giveaway, and then we'll do another page. 